15. All right, so in the first, we're only working in the XY plane here, so um, the sketches are not too bad, not too bad. Now again, I'm just going to write them without the IJs, Ks. And remember, uh, when we define a function, not only do we need, you know, the, the I guess that component um, functions, but we also need an interval that we're, you know, restricting possibly the domain to. In this case, it's all real values of t. All right, so can anyone suggest what the curve associated with that function, vector function might be? A line. How, how did you get that? Okay, all right. Okay. So subbing in values of t can sometimes be handy. Um, maybe not all the time. What about a more sort of universal method? Eliminating t? Yeah, that's another way. So I could say uh, let x equals t plus, uh, 2 plus t, let y equal 3 plus 2t, and then eliminate the t, right? Anybody know another way? Anyone? <coughs> well, in lectures, I'm not sure if you remember, but remember you can split this up and just put it into the, the general format of a line, okay? Just by playing with the components. So there's, there's you know, at least two ways to solve this problem, okay? So let's look at the quick way. I'm just going to split this up into this. So I immediately know that, that um, it's a line that passes through this point and is parallel to this vector, right? So let's say our line L is um, parallel to vector 1, 2 and passes through the point 2, 3. Okay? But let, let's, let's do it another way and go back and form the Cartesian equation, right? That, I mean, we're all probably more comfortable with that than, than this particular one, because if we, you know, we, we're conditioned to it in a sense. So the other way, um, we have x equals 2 plus t, y equals 3 plus 2t, uh, eliminate t, Okay, so um, just making t the subject here and subbing in here, we'll get 3 plus 2x minus 2. So then we just got to clean that up and we'll get 2x plus, uh, 2x minus 1, sorry. So of course we can draw it now very easily. So it's going to pass through minus 1 on the axis. And it's going to have a slope of 2. 